How to Stop Wasting Money Fast. Hey there, savvy savers. Get ready for a frugal fiesta, because today we're serving some fantastic tips to help you stop wasting money, make better financial decisions, and attain financial liberation. Grab a pen and your favorite frugal hat, and let's dive right into our tips on how to stop wasting money fast. You must have noticed that at the end of the week or month, when you receive your money, you're already looking forward to the next payday. And this is because you've already finished spending your money or you're in danger of the money running out. How do you now get yourself out of these financial shackles? It is easy. There is a loop that is sipping your money. This video will teach you how to look for this loop, block it, and attain financial freedom as a result. The first part of this video will show you what has been taking your money and leaving you with nothing, the loops. The second part will explain to you how you can block these loops and attain financial freedom. Join our channel by hitting the subscribe button right now because these types of videos are coming out every week. Okay, let's get to it. Part 1. Why You Keep Spending Money Have you ever noticed how money's got this magical power to keep the world on its toes? We're all aboard the spending train cruising through life for a gazillion reasons. But here's a twist. A hefty chunk of those spending choices are like those in-the-moment decisions. You know that one moment you will not spend money for three days, feeling happy that you've saved, and the next moment you're on your last bucks with a cone of ice cream in your hand. Hold on to your piggy banks because here's where it gets interesting. Our impromptu emotions can lead us down a slippery slope of spending more than we planned. It's like our wallets suddenly sprout legs and do a tap dance on the checkout counter. And before you can curb the habit of wasting money, you must know what you have been wasting money on. And here are some of the common reasons why you keep spending money. 1. Not keeping tabs on your spendings. Picture this. Whether you're raking in the big bucks or giving the piggy bank a light workout, here's the scoop. If you're not playing detective with your spending, those hard-earned dollars might just slip through your fingers like sand at the beach. And nobody wants to be in the money's boss club, right? We're aiming for the money master league. Consider this as a pivotal reality check. Picture your income as the captain of your financial ship. But here's the catch. Without a vigilant eye on where each dollar is distributed, you're essentially allowing the wind to steer your ship. In other words, your financial course is determined more by chance than by choice. And one of the ways in which you waste money is when you don't keep tabs on your spending. 2. The social media. Imagine this. It's a lazy Saturday morning. And before you know it, you're knee-deep in the infinite scroll of your social media jungle, catching up on the chronicles of your pals. But hold up, not even two flicks of your thumb later, bam, you're face-to-face -face with someone's extravaganza and that newfound world-altering kimono. And before you've even shuffled to the coffee machine, you've already waved goodbye to $30. Mission accomplished, right? Let's be real, you don't need to be an investigative genius to know this scene because chances are... You lived it this very morning. In 2022, it was estimated that people across the globe spent an average of 151 minutes per day on social media. We're all in the same boat, constantly eyeing what's just out of reach. It's like we're convinced that owning that one thing will magically upgrade life to deluxe mode. Because of what you get to see on social media, you become ultra aware of your surroundings. And suddenly, your couch looks like it came straight out of a forgotten garage sale and that lampstand needs a revamp. And because of our obsession with social media, the ads, the flashy things we get to see, our money starts dipping. 3. Absence of self-awareness Imagine this. You're in a store, surrounded by shiny things calling out to you. Now, if you don't really understand your own money habits, you might find yourself giving in to those impulses without a second thought. It's like going shopping without a plan and ending up with a cart full of things you didn't even need. When you're not aware of your financial tendencies, your spendencies, as some call them, you're essentially sailing without a compass in the sea of spending. You might fall for marketing tricks, make emotional purchases, or even just follow the crowd without questioning if it aligns with your financial goals. Think about it. If you don't know what triggers your spending, you're vulnerable to falling into old habits or making snap decisions that could seriously dent your budget. It's like trying to navigate a labyrinth without a map. You're bound to take wrong turns. 4. Retail therapy. I'm not saying this is bad. I even do it myself. But with the recession coming and a whole lot of things getting more expensive, 
If you continue retail therapy, you might end up with real therapy. Ever heard of the buying happiness illusion? It's that sneaky little trick our minds play, making us believe that if we purchase that new gadget or that fabulous dress, all our problems will magically evaporate like mist in the morning sun. And guess what? In that instant, your inner shopaholic warrior charges in, swiping credit cards like they're playing a high-stakes poker game. But there's a catch. The happiness from retail therapy is often as fleeting as a summer breeze. That new shirt might feel like a superhero cape for a day, but it won't tackle the deeper issues that kitty cat couch destruction and coffee disasters bring. Now, don't worry, I'm not saying you can't enjoy shopping, but like a chocolate fountain at a party, too much of a good thing can end up sticky and messy. When retail therapy becomes your go-to solution, it can become a one-way ticket to a money-wasting city. These are not the only reasons why people waste money. There are tons of reasons why you waste your hard-earned money. These are just the common reasons among many people. Part 2. How to Stop Wasting Money Fast One thing you should know is that money is a means to an end, and you will definitely spend it. And if you know that you are a victim of all that has been listed already, then this second part is for you. You will spend money, but how can you stop spending rashly and make better financial decisions? Here's how. 1. Budgeting Imagine your finances as a grand adventure. You're the captain of your financial ship, sailing through the seas of income and expenses. But here's the thing. Without a map, you might just end up in uncharted waters, spending more than you intended. That's where budgeting comes in. And it's not as dull as it might sound. It's like having a compass that points you in the right direction. With a budget, you're not just tracking numbers. You're creating a roadmap for your money, ensuring it's put to work where it matters most. Have you ever had that moment when you checked your bank account and wondered how you burned through your paycheck so quickly? Budgeting helps you dodge that bullet. It's like a financial spotlight that shines on your spending habits, revealing where those sneaky leaks are happening. Each dollar gets a job in your budget. No more wandering aimlessly. They're on a mission. And you know what's truly empowering? When you budget, you're taking control of your financial narrative. You're telling your money exactly where to go. And it's a game changer. So whether it's saying no to that impulse buy or finding smarter ways to cut costs, budgeting becomes your financial superhero. And hey, remember, this isn't about restricting yourself. It's about aligning your spending with your goals and values. Two, swear off your debts. If you want to master the art of saving and stopping that money leak, there's one golden rule. Wave goodbye to debt like it's a not-so-great X. Because debt is like that sneaky friend who keeps borrowing money and never pays you back. It nibbles away at your hard-earned income. Plus, you're stuck in this never-ending loop of paying back that loan or credit card, plus extra for the interest, until it's done and dusted. Yep, your debt turns into the boss. And you're stuck taking orders until you show it the exit door. Imagine this. You're out for a fancy dinner with pals, and voila, out comes the credit card. Now... If you're not careful, that $20 meal could end up eating your next paycheck for dessert. Forget to pay the bill on time, and suddenly your $20 feast turns into a feast for the interesting beast, growing bigger and more terrifying. We live in a world that's all about the buy now, pay later jazz. It's like a siren song, luring you into thinking you can afford anything you want. But guess what? It's a trap. If you don't have the cash right now, you're basically doing financial acrobatics. 3. Shop purposefully and with a clear objective. We've all been in that situation, right? You run out of shampoo and toothpaste, so you decide to dash over to Target. But as soon as you step through the sliding doors, it's like the dollar section whispers sweet promises, and you find yourself with a cart full of flashy phone chargers and cool water toys for the kids. You're convinced they'll use them all the time, right? And then reality hits. Those innocent little impulse buys have just turned your quick grab shampoo and toothpaste trip into a wallet-busting adventure. Now let's be real. Does anyone set out to get sidetracked while shopping for the bare essentials? Probably not. But if this scenario feels like deja vu, it might be time for a shopping strategy shakeup. Maybe avoid the stores that have a knack for stealing your dollars. Or hey, send your partner on a mission instead. Who knows, they might just have a knack for sticking to the script. 4. Stay strong against discounts. Who can resist a sweet deal? 
I'm right there with you. Retailers are like mind readers, and they know exactly how to make those sales racks shine like treasure chests. But here's the real question. Is all this saving actually costing you more? Imagine this. You snag a sweater that wasn't even on your radar, all because it's 25% off. The catch? You're actually spending 75% more than you planned. Ouch. I feel that sting, too. It's not saving. It's sneaky spending. But no worries, there's a master plan to dodge these shopping traps. Step one, make a list before you hit the stores. Step two, channel your inner self-discipline guru when you're surrounded by sales. If that sweater isn't on your list, it's not meant to be. And if it keeps haunting your thoughts, no sweat. Add it to next month's budget and let the waiting game begin. Five, delay gratification. Are you having a hard time Sticking to your budget and shopping list? Let's flip the script and look into the future. Imagine yourself using that must-have item a month from now. Will that sweater still be as appealing after a couple of spins in the laundry? Will your kids maintain their excitement about that pricey toy set? What about those budget-friendly shoes? Will they hold up through the entire season? Chances are the answer points toward reconsidering. But what if that craving persists? It's time for a little waiting game. Incorporate it into your budget for next month and let it simmer. If your infatuation is just as strong after 30 days, then guess what? You're free to make the purchase guilt free. It's like shopping with a plan, all ready to roll. We hope you enjoyed this frugal fiesta. If so, give us a thumbs up and share the knowledge with your friends. Hop on to this video next if you want to learn about how to stop wasting money having more in your purse than you spend. Don't forget to subscribe. Stay frugal, stay fabulous. See you next time.